All right, you guys, today we're gonna to do that sprint eight protocol. So we're gonna use the rower for four minutes of high intensity work. So we're gonna do eight 30 second high intensity sprints followed by a minute and 30 seconds off, 90 seconds off to get that rest, that high heart rate down to resting heart rate. So we're gonna to try to elevate our heart rate and then we're gonna bring it back down. So four minutes of high intensity work uh, there's a whole protocol behind it. Uh, my my good buddy, Phil Campbell, he wrote quite a few books. This is one of them, Sprint 8 Protocol. And you can do the Sprint 8 on the elliptical, as you see here. You can do it on a track. You can do it jumping ropes. There's so many different ways to do it. Um, we're going to use the water rower today. Uh, a lot of times you see it done on the treadmill. We use the recumbent bikes, and so there's a lot of ways to do this, but today let's use the rower. So uh, just an excerpt in here to read a real quick one about how the Sprint 8 can improve metabolic syndrome. <clears throat> and so metabolic syndrome is a disorder of the metabolism where the body makes someone fat in an abnormally fast way. So we don't want that. In other words, metabolic syndrome makes the body become a body fat making machine there is a way to fight back. An additional key benefit of Sprint 8 training is it is one of the few exercise tools that can effectively fight metabolic syndrome. As a person gets older, the possibility of falling into metabolic syndrome diagnosis increases substantially with age and waistline. The National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Disease points out metabolic syndrome is a group of conditions that put, your, put you at risk for heart disease and diabetes. Some of those are uh, high blood pressure, uh, high blood sugar levels, high levels of triglycerides circulating fat in your bloodstream, low levels of HDL, the good cholesterol and in your blood, too much body fat around the waist, and it goes on and on. But basically, Sprint 8 is the best way to combat that. So we're going to do four minutes of high-intensity high work, and we're going to do a minute and a half to bring that heart rate back down. Okay, so let's get situated, let's get set. I'm gonna reset my monitor here. So let's get us all set up and ready to go. All right, four minutes. We're going to, three minutes to warm up. So three minute warm up. And overall, it should be a 20-minute hit workout. But you got those minute and a half to rest. And so we're just going to go on the rower, toes to mid-chest. So toes going to come into mid-chest, mostly using my legs, core, and then upper body. Legs, core, upper body. And just like a smooth flow, trying to get my heels up as I come in closer with my handle here, and then gonna push off with my toes. And we'll just do three minutes. All right, we are at one minute already, two minutes to go in this warm up, and then we're gonna hit that sprint. Okay, a minute and a half into the warm up. Got a minute and a half to go for this warm up, and then we'll hit the sprints. Yeah, so trying to relax your grip, not gorilla grip it, not heavy grip, light grip. Bring it in to your solar plex, mid part of your chest. Gonna squeeze those shoulder blades back there a little bit and breathe, work on our breathing. So after this workout today, you want to have two hours of no sugar or anything like that. Just kind of try to let your body 
work on its metabolism. You're trying to really fire up your metabolism here and change it with this workout. We got 30 seconds and then we're going to start our sprint. <clears throat> Trying to breathe and get ready for this. It's going to be a much faster stroke in about 10 seconds. I'm going to start it in about 10 sec three seconds here. And sprint. Here we go. 30 second sprint. So just best I can. Ten seconds. Okay, and ninety seconds of recovery. Gonna go a little bit slower. Breathe. And you wanna hit those thirty second sprints where you can barely even you can't even talk. You're going to be hitting the sprints fast and hard. And that's the best way this work, this program works. And you'll see significant changes in four, five, six, especially eight weeks, in about eight weeks' time. Three days a week, total of 20 minutes, but. It also helps to do about 40 minutes more of weights after the sprint eight to help you get a little bit more gains and build and keep your muscle. Biggest part about this is keeping our muscle tissue. Um, Woo. All right, we're getting ready here. Okay, 10 seconds until second round. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Just going at it. Come on, let's go. There you go. All right, recovery. Woo, two done. Good way to go. Starting us off in the morning today. Nice early morning. Sprint eight programming. Gonna feel so much better after this workout. We got a whole minute still before we sprint again. All right, hold on. We got 30 seconds before we hit the sprint. Oh, I didn't resume this. All right, 10 seconds to our third round. Here we go. Get yourself going. Two, one, and sprint. All right. 
and you're gonna recover. Woo! Three done. Got this. A little bit slower, bringing down that heart rate. Just a little bit. Woo. Got a whole minute still. One whole minute recovery. There we go. Just getting in the groove. We're in the mix here. Feels good. Nice full body workout here on the rower. A way to mix it up. Let's work on breathing. Okay, 10 seconds to fourth round. We're going to be halfway through this. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Nice. All right, we got 90 seconds recovery work. Just kind of slowing down a little bit. Got that heart rate up. Woo. Four done over the halfway. Here we come for number five. We got a whole minute of recovery work here. Whole minute. Feeling good, looking good. It's going to be a good day. Go for it. <clears throat> okay, number five, sprint coming up in six seconds, five seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one, sprint. And recover. Woo. Recovery. Woo. Five done. Oh, yeah. Three to go. Come on. Breathe. Relax your breathing. Woo. Good job. Bring that heart rate down a little bit. Got a whole minute to recover still. We are over the halfway mark of our high intensity. Got six, seven, eight.
a little recovery time here. Feeling good. My heart rate's pretty far back down. Okay, 10 seconds to that six sprint. Here we go. Six seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Sprint. Nice. Minute and a half off. Six done. Two to go. Woo! Heart rate up there. All right, we are looking good. Buckle back in here a little bit. Toes to chest. Good strokes. Easy strokes right now. We got 30 seconds until our seventh sprint. Just two more sprints to go. We're going to hit number seven now. Relaxing my breathing still right now. Here we go, number seven, it's coming up. 10 seconds until seventh round. Here we go. Three, two, one, sprint. Here we go. Five seconds, come on. Woo. Ah. Seven done. Ah. Yeah, feeling good. Woo. Body is feeling it. Seven done, one to go. We got one whole minute of recovery still. Looking good, feeling good. Nice, easy row, relaxed grip, not too strong of a grip. 10 seconds until eighth round, final round. We're gonna give it our all. Give it your all. Three, two, one, and sprint. 30 seconds. Ten seconds. Yeah. Woo, recovery. That's it. Eight sprints. 
We're on the recovery. Woo. Minute and a half again, just to recover. And you are good. Woo. So it's eight 30 second sprints, which equals four minutes of high intensity work. And then you have those eight minute and a half off, giving us almost 20 minutes total here. And then we're going to hit the weights. All right. Hope you enjoyed this workout today. This was the Sprint 8 Water Rower workout. And we can do it next time on the recumbent bike or elliptical or jump ropes or treadmill. Woo! All right. 22 more seconds of this recovery. Ten seconds of recovery here. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and time. Woohoo! Yeah, good job today. Get, see you in the next workout.